grace and love for their children. You know, because we know what all we put our mothers through. And if you are a mother, you know what all your children put you through. And you know how that grace, you know, has been there. So I'm going to try to sing this song this morning. And y'all just kind of just worship with me and think about, think about your childhood. Think about how God has shown grace to you and how he's used you to show it to your family members. Every promise we can make, every breath and step of faith, every difference we will make is only by His grace. Every mountain we will climb, Every ring of hope we shine, every blessing left behind is only by His grace. Grace alone, which God supplies, strength unknown, He will provide. Tree and they did eat. 
And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, she's in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. <laughs> and Sarah heard at the tent door, which was behind him. And now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, I am old. How shall I have pleasure with my Lord being old also? And the Lord said to Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, I shall surely bear a child which I am old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? And at the time the appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Here's Abraham and Sarah. They're in their tent minding their own business. They're old between 90 and 100 years old. What would y'all do right now if all of a sudden somebody come knocking at the door and one of the ladies went over and, and let them in? I and that. they come over and they said, you're going to have a baby. In nine more months, you're going to have a baby. Everybody would be like, what? You know? Do y'all not realize I'm a little bit older than my I'm not in my thirties anymore? You know, matter of fact, I'm three times that. I'm 90 years old. What do you mean have a baby? And it said Sarah heard it. And that's what she did. She just laughed. Ha ha ha. What do you mean have a baby? Man, I'm over the hill. I'm, I'm past my child. Well, you're not days. having it. She is. Exactly. Well, that's what Sarah was like. I'm over the hill. You keep saying So they sit there and they're like, now hold on. Now hold on, Sarah says. How do you think I'm going to have this, this baby? And so she laughs about it. Abraham says, God tells Abraham, hey, did you hear Sarah laughing? Go tell her. Say, hey, look. With God, all things are possible. Y'all know that verse, what is it? Yeah. Philippians 4 and what? Well, well y'all know that verse. Come on. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That's right. Right? Well, here's Sarah thinking, oh my goodness, thinking I'm going to have a baby. She kind of laughs and mocks at it until God gets a hold of her and says, oh no, you really are going to have a baby. Now, Sarah, like, she's the old matriarch. She's the one that started it. And to think about this, through that lineage, of course, end up coming to Jesus. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome that God can use us? God can use each and every one of us in this room today, out in our other rooms, somewhere in here, somewhere around this world. Age makes no difference. All we need to do is allow God to work. Now she become the top matriarch mother to get everything started. Now let's read some of this. <clears throat> In Proverbs, who, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. This morning the church had brought some gifts for you guys. As, you know, we like to bring y'all gifts to help celebrate. And we were thinking, we need to get them some real precious Jewels. So we were going to get y'all some rubies. But I read right here where it says y'all's price is far above the rubies. So I didn't want to insult you. So we didn't get you rubies, okay? Because y'all yourself, y'all are so much better than the rubies. Man, y'all are God's precious creation. Man, God has used you. You, you ladies, God has blessed y'all. And y'all in turn bless us. Every time we open up these doors, y'all are such a blessing to us. So, here again, as, a, as we said, age makes no difference. You are a blessing of God. You are a blessing to God. It says, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She sees the merchant ship. She brings food in. Talking about providing for her family. She layeth her hands to the spindle, her hands a hold to the staff, the strength of, uh, she stretches out her hands to the poor, she reaches forth her hands to the needy, she's not afraid of the snow, not afraid of the weather, 
she maketh herself covering. It says her husband is known in the gates where he sitteth among the elders. She maketh the fine linen to sell. Takes care of her children. Say what it say right here. She looks well to the ways of her household. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Man, no wonder God said that y'all are far above, far above the rubies, far above. Because look what all, look what all God has anointed and blessed you and how he's used you precious mothers. Let me read y'all this poem real quick. I got a couple here. It says, you were there. You were there when we took our first steps. Y'all remember those first steps? Probably don't remember the ones you took, but you remember the ones that your children took. You were there when we took our first steps. You went unsteadily across the floor. You pushed and prodded, encouraged and guided until our steps took us out the door. You worry now, are they okay? Is there more they could have done or you could have done? As we walk the paths of our unknown, you wonder, where have my children gone? Where are we is where, where you have led us. With your special love, you showed us a way to believe in ourselves and the decisions we make, taking on the challenge of life day to day. And where we go, you can be sure, in spirit, you shall never be alone. For where you are is what matters most because, it's, because to us, that will always be home. One more point. If I could give you diamonds for each tear you cried for me, if I could buy you, saf buy you sapphires for each truth you helped me see, if I could give you rubies for the heartaches that you've known, if I could give you pearls for the wisdom that you have shown, then you'll have a treasure, then you'll have a treasure, Mother, that would mount up to the skies, that would almost match the sparkle in your kind and loving eyes. But I have no pearls, no diamonds, as I'm sure you're well aware. So I'll give you gifts more precious, my devotion, love, and care. God tells us the same thing. You know what? While you're on this earth, y'all are. Jesus. Y'all are the ones that I'm so proud of. Why? Because you're my creation. He entrusted you to, to give life, to give birth, just like He did Samuel. Didn't matter about how old, didn't matter about how rich, how poor. He trusted and boy, Sarah come through, you know, and she ended up getting on, on board with the game, you know. She ended up believing and following and trusting God. And for every mother, that has trusted and followed God and has cried those tears Must and has prayed that. those prayers yeah. and have led, you know, led their children, helped them with everything. God's looking down and He's saying, man, y'all are more fine than even the, the, the particles that I'm using to make heaven. You know, we look at heaven and heaven's what? Streets of gold, gates of pearl, walls of jasper, all these different, you know, onyxes, all these different stones and precious jewels. But God calls you mothers, the precious one. He says, I, you're worth more than all of these. One more mother story. When you look and you see Jesus on the cross. You know what one of his last one of his last words were. He looks down and he sees his mom standing there. And one of the disciples and he says, Hey, look, that's your mom. Take care of her. I want you to make sure you take care of her. Because I'm leaving here now. Think about that. Some of the last words from his cross was even to, Hey, make sure y'all take care of mom. You know? We love you guys. We thank you guys for allowing us to come and share. And what I want to make sure that you guys do know what you're aware of is how much of a blessing y'all are to us. How much every time we get to come in these doors and we come in and we see y'all sitting and smiling. And man, we come in and, and, and y'all come out, you know, you come over in, in your chairs. And as we're singing, y'all are singing. Man, it is a blessing. 
It is such a blessing that y'all don't tell them, hey, don't let that church back in. That's a blessing. You know, we love to come and to share with y'all. Y'all are like our mothers and our grandmothers. We, we love each one of you. And God loves you. Make sure you don't ever think, oh, I've had my day in the sun. No, you haven't. Have You've not had your day in the sun until we passed on and we made heaven our home. Right. Mm -hmm. God loves you. Thank you for what you've children? done. That's and God thanks you for the life yeah. that you've lived. Yeah. And evidently, as I look around, <coughs> I can also see that each one of you must have really honored and cherished your parents, your mother, because the Bible tells us if we love and you know, cherish and, and are faithful and good to our parents, that He will give us a long life. And I look around and I don't see anybody in here crawling around or, or you know, still, sit girl, on the bottle. We went to church. No, nope, each one of us Sunday. has grown to mature. God loves you. We love you. Happy Mother's Day from the bottom of our hearts. And remember, God's not through with you yet. God's got something still special in store for you. Now, right now, the ladies of the church, uh, they've been working on some, some gifts to present to you guys for Mother's Day. And I think they're starting to come around now. This is from the Potter Springs Church of God. We love y'all. We thank y'all so much for allowing us to come. Happy Mother's Day. And we hope and pray that y'all, <coughs> that we can be the blessing to y'all that y'all are to us. Okay. All right, they're coming around. Oh, that's and gentlemen, like I say, this is going to be the day that... Uh, yeah, this is just the Mother's Day. The Father's Day is coming around the corner. Yeah, no. Whatever y'all. 